Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Mickey James, the Ballad of. Um, newest character in the game, her showdown event this weekend. Uh, Mickey is a PG era showboat. She has two links, the WrestleMania 22 link, which is unknown what it does yet. And PG era any color move starts with one more move point. She has the one set of gear, the Ballad of Mickey James gear. She's a really good coach. At 9k, moves that destroy yellow gems will destroy three more yellow gems. So anyone using a yellow destroy move, uh, like Tucker, for example, uh, will be this will be a really clutch trainer for. Um, so really good trainer. Definitely want the training ability. Uh, let's uh, take a look, though, at the at her moves and see how she plays. I'm going to have... Um, Five different builds for you guys, a three-star, a four-star, two different five-stars, and then um, a hot tag build. All either different builds or different trainers. Um, this is not my Mickey James. I don't get to keep her. When I'm done with this preview, she'll get removed from my account. So first moves that we're going to run with is available at three-star. It's got the Mickey DT. Uh, 13 MP yellow finisher deal 319,000 damage to the opponent, 192,000 damage to yourself, and pin the opponent. The Luthez Press deal 29,000 damage and choose four gems to make into yellow gems. The Arm Trap Neck Breaker deal 23k damage and choose a 1x7 area to swap into purple gems. That's a 7 MP green, and the purple is a 8 MP. Um, so this is a tricolor build, and it is available at 3-star. Uh, Going to get started with George Steele, so we can get the Arm Trap Net Breaker and load the purples, which in turn we can use to load the finisher. Um, so 4 more green MP. Randy Orton for yellow moves that deal damage will deal 45% more, so buffs that finisher up to 460,000 damage. Rikishi to charge the yellows by one more, and Booker T to uh, give one more gem on the create. Could also use like Lacey Evans, um, any yellow move damage coaches, like uh, Gooker is all at uh, all move damage would be great. Um, Hall of Fame Andre. Improves yellow move damage. Those would both be fine to use. Gonna go on the road against um, five star bronze striker in Trish. She is strapped. We are not. So we do have the class advantage, but that won't make up the strap. So you, the nice thing about this is you get to pick the area where you push the one by seven. Um, so I try and always do an edge, less chance of causing a pin, and preferably an edge that doesn't have two in a row so that it might drop in and match. So in this case, either edge would have been fine or just as likely. We did get a double match, though, which happens sometimes, unfortunately. On the plus side, it was a yellow, so should be able to avoid making the pin here, especially with all that room. We only need six more, and we do have Rikishi, so it'll be quite easy to load this one. Can start to think about if you have to recycle, so maybe here. And get the wild card to fall in, um, and that is plenty um, to fill it, so I'm just going to put this one here. Like so. Get some damage in, and because of the reduction, instead of doing 460k, it's only doing 400,000. Um, if, if of course, this move set, I would do takedown all the way. And with a yellow percentage move metal, this would do ridiculous damage. Uh, as it is, I don't know. Yeah. Can't kick out. Really, actually, like this move set. Um... You can get it off turn two just about every time, uh, unless you have very, very bad luck, and it's going to be huge. Um, if you did 40% with double takedown and 133% yellow uh, move damage metal, uh, you'd be well over, well over, I think, uh, a million damage on that finisher, which is crazy um, to me. Turn two, but big turn two. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, I obviously like that move set. Let's take a look at the four star move or build. So for this one, we're gonna swap out all the moves. 
we're going to bring in the stratisfaction. And we'll see that finisher again later, don't worry. We're going to bring in the mick kick and the arm trap neck breaker. Again, these are available at four star. Well, we had that arm trap still there. So the stratisfaction is the four star move, deal 25k damage and make nine heal gems into green gems. The mick kick deal 86k damage and choose nine gems to make into heal gems of strength 20,000. And the arm trap neck breaker which we saw, that's the 7 MP, that uh, choose a 1 by 7 area to load the purples. So, For the trainers, we're going to swap out Orton, since we're not using that big finisher, but we're going to stick with the move damage theme and go to Big Show for 45% purple move damage, since the uh, Mick Kick deals really good damage. And I'm going to mess around with the coaches, change a few out since we're going against a striker. I'm going to go gem defense um, with zombie Asuka. Again, you could use Gooker on this one. Um, anyone with purple damage, like uh, Hall of Fame Trish, you could use for more move damage. And then instead of Booker T, I'm going to use Lacey since we're um, breaking some gems, green and purple. Double duty there. And she buffs both of those. I'm not going to bother to heal, and you'll see why. So this one is just a bunch of recycling with heals. And again, right out the gate, if this works um, and we don't force a pin... So here there's two blues, so I don't want to pick this side. I'll pick this side. There's not um, two in a row anywhere. So, again, unless I have really bad luck. And I don't. The good thing about this is because of the five match, um, we have a chance to go on turn one. So, there's a... Uh... Let's see. Perfect. So, we get to get started with our recycle on turn one. So we're going to place the big heal gems, the very big heal gems, and they're all going to turn to green. Um, so we're going to re everything's going to cycle from here on out. So look to make like cascades, um, row breaks, that kind of stuff. Just get any kind of damage you can um, because the heal gems will take a lot of damage off the table. But the move damage uh, adds up in a hurry. And this is another build set that I would definitely do double um, double takedown for extra move damage. And you could do uh, flat move damage on the greens uh, for both of those, or percentage one on the purple, whatever you had. So now it's just uh, repeating what we did, loading the purple, which is your big damage move. And you're going to see it does not take very many cycles, and you're healing a bunch every time on top of it. Because that's a hundred and some thousand damage. Yeah, 109,000 right there. Again, looking to make like row breaks or whatever, just to get extra damage as much as possible. And the next cycle through should do it. And we're just healing up that damage that we had. And the side looks pretty good. And this will definitely finish the match, and we'll finish at full health. It's another really solid move set.
Okay. Now we're going to take a look at her five star move set. Um, and we're going to see uh, three different variations on this. Uh, mainly because I happen to really like it, and there's a bunch of different ways you could go about it. Um, so yeah. And again, these are going to be benefit from move damage medals. I think uh, takedown is the way to go for sure with Mickey. So it's going to be the triple yellow. And back to that big finisher. We're going to bring the snap Marion, which we haven't seen yet. And the five star move, which is the Mikarana. So back to that 13 MP finisher that deals over 300k damage. The Snapmare, 9 MP, deal 28k damage and make 14 heal gems into yellow gems, 9 MP. And the Mikarana, deal 131k damage and make the bottom two rows into heal gems of strength 20,000. Uh, for the Entourage, we're going to roll with Akum. Start with more yellow. Going to go back to Orton. You could also use Big E. He's also yellow move damage trainer. So Orton or Big E would work fine here. My Orton is uh, 5k though. My Big E is just a shade away. And uh, we're going to go with uh, Sasha for her 9k ability. Uh, you guys have seen me some of my videos. You know I like using the um, Sasha quite a bit for this 9k ability. Um 25% increased chance for yellow gems on the starting board. Then we're going to go with Rikishi um, for extra yellows on a match. If we get a match turn one, um, everything's loaded turn two. So let's get in here and run it this way with the triple yellow. Again, um, takedown with a yellow percentage medal would be crazy for this build set. So we do have a yellow match in a couple different spots. Um, let's take this one and get rid of the black as well. And you can see Rikishi makes it so everything is fully charged. So because everything is fully charged, I'm going to hit these moves out of turn so I don't force a pin. So we're going to do 36k with the Snapmare. And then we're going to do 166k with the Mikarana. Then we're going to do 405k with the Finisher. And take all but like 5k of Trisha's health. On turn 2 with a yellow match. Pretty dang crazy. Pretty, pretty crazy, guys. Uh, and that's without without takedown medals and a yellow percentage medal. Uh, I definitely want this card. Uh, the big hit is awesome. I'm, I'm all for buffing this finisher. Okay, so the next set is a variation of this one. All the moves are going to stay the same. I'm going to swap out uh, almost all the trainers and go a little bit um, with, well, definitely going to go with rare trainers here, guys. Um, just to show an example of what else you could do here. Um, so I'm going to go with dual yellow trainers. So that means the Snapmare and the Mikarana are going to be ready turn one. So lose some of that damage. Um, so to counteract that, I'm going to put Gooker on just for, for this. He's 25% yellow damage and also going to move Hall of Fame Andre on there. He's only 5% more because um, he's not 9k yet. But that gets the move damage almost up to where it was before. Uh, but we can start on turn one without a yellow match. So it's sort of like doing what we did before, uh, just in a different way. That's more the, the idea of why I'm showing this. We can get to the finisher turn two this way. 
just like the other way, although this way we don't need a match. So if you have these kind of trainers, and even if you don't have Gooker or Andre, you can still go about it this way because of the high move damage. Um, turn one, we're going to force a pin, so it is turn two, but then the finisher's ready, and we healed up our life as well. So that's kind of the, the benefit here, is you don't need a match at all. And while the move damage is slightly lower, you're going to see it ends up not mattering at all. In fact, it'll end up being more damage total on turn two, just not look as fun. And you can see, oh, nice cascade, uh, but healed up completely to full there. And all the moves are ready to go again. So we will just use them out of order, just like last time, and make sure the finisher finishes it. So you can see, like, running this moveset, I, people say, you know, they don't want to because, um, you know, maybe too much damage in feud or whatever. But you run this moveset, you're going to heal yourself on turn two anyway, so it's not going to be that many health packs. Plus, um, I don't know another female that can do this much damage um, in a very short order. She's pretty crazy. Again, I really, really want this card. So, and if you're not convinced yet, I'm uh, going to run a hot tag build with Dango. Um, so you can see what uh, Mickey would look like at 5-star bronze, again, with no no strap or medals, um, in a hot tag situation where she didn't care about an MP trainer. Plus, it gives me a chance to use my boy Dango. Everyone knows I love Dango. Mm, wrong tutor. I want to go over here. Up to... All right, so we're going to put Dango in to load Mickey, and we're going to go full gem damage, or move damage trainers. Again, sticking with the triple yellow, and we're bringing Big E in. And this is, I just want to show you guys the number that the finisher can hit, and we're bringing Orton in. So we're talking 282,000, 60,000, and 686,000 move damage for 349, 40, um, over a million move damage right here, guys, um, on the hot tag, and that's without straps and medals. So, yeah, not too bad. It's fun to hit big, so I don't see uh, see any way I don't really want this card. And uh, especially like in mixed tag, this is just funny. Dango's like the perfect tag partner for her. So this is turn one. Mickey's coming in. Poor Rhonda. Doesn't have a chance. Doesn't know it yet. Doesn't have a chance. Gonna use the moves out of order. Not that um, she'd be able to go anyway. So if you wanted to, you could heal up here, beat her next turn. Um, it's all whatever you want. But turn one, mixed tag match. Um, doing... Uh, after straps in, almost a million damage between all of it. After their straps are in. So, yeah. Uh, Mickey. Uh, really, really dang good. And a card I absolutely am gunning for. Not just for the coach, but because that amount of damage is nothing to scoff at. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this preview. Um, I obviously really like Mickey. Pretty high on her. Um... So, yeah.
Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Remember to uh, like, subscribe, and share. Very curious to see what you guys think. Uh, other than that, guys, I hope you have a great showdown weekend. And um, yeah, good luck out there. Thanks for watching.